Good morning, second graders, and today we are still working on changing landforms. Uh, today we're working on lesson four, which is going to be focusing on a book called Gary's Sand Journal. So last lesson, we looked at a couple of different pictures of sand, and we were thinking about different things we noticed about the shape, the size, and the color. So quickly, before we go ahead and read our next book, we're going to pause the video and you guys are going to talk about some observations that you've made about sand. So remember, observations are using any of your five senses to collect information about something. So, for example, in this one, since it's only pictures, we'll be using our um, sense of sight to just think about what we see. So you can pause the video and either write the answer down in your packet, talk to somebody at home, or think about it in your head. So we're going to be starting a new book um, called Gary's Sand Journal, and this book is about a geologist who observes sand and visualizes how it became the way it is. So let's talk about what we notice on the cover. So when I look at the cover, I'm noticing that the person is holding out their hand and they have sand in it. Um, the sand looks like maybe wet because it looks like you can clump it together. So when I'm thinking about wet sand, um, maybe this person is at the beach or a lake, um, somewhere near water so to make the sand wet. Um, I'm also noticing that the sand looks pretty fine. It doesn't look like big pebbles or rocks are in it. Um, and it has kind of like that tan color. So to visualize means to make a picture in your mind using information from different sources. So when scientists can't observe how something happens, they can visualize it. Visualizing helps scientists to answer questions. Readers also visualize as they are reading to understand what is happening in the book. So while we're reading Gary's Sand Journal, the whole time you guys should be trying to come up with a picture in your head of what we're talking about in the book. So one of those key words that we'll constantly be talking about in this unit is visualize. And that means to make a picture in your mind using information from different sources. So you guys can go ahead and pause the video and at the very end of your packet, you'll find the vocabulary section, so you can copy down the definition for visualize in your packet so you can refer to it later on.